There's plenty of businesses we can do, but blogs are cool because if you get a successful blog going, it's kind of hands off, right? You can make $10,000 a month passively. And that's what I want to talk about in this video. Where is the most profitable niches? Where should we be writing to make the most amount of money online this year right now? So it should be no surprise to you that personal finance is an incredibly lucrative niche to be and think of the motley fool have you seen this website fool.com so financial and invested advice this is a website that does these things other subs so i'm always going to give you listen this video is going to have the primary which is personal finance right that's the primary category and subcategories under that and subcategories to consider investment strategies stock market analysis think of tax plan and wealth management all of these things if you have expertise in this area and you can put a personal spin there's a huge amount of money to be made here because it's literally the intersection of money and a service like so much money to be made in personal finance technology and gadgets is the next one on the list think of the verge have you seen this website so it's like a popular tech news and reviews website they give like coverage on the tech industry ai stuff software hardware all these type of things it is a very lucrative niche because people buy this and it's high priced items and some of the items if it's software have recurring basis on it meaning that if you are able to be an affiliate for one of these programs you can make money passively every single month these people continue with that service subcategories to consider tech trends coding and programming cybersecurity, ai the latest gadgets and devices all these things have immediate interest right and that gives it an advantage because if you can be the first one to talk about the new thing that's kind of what i did on this channel to grow it was chat gpt right you can get ahead of the pack home improvement and diy websites can make a lot of money have you seen the website howls so this is with two z's howls they have a whole section here on their website get ideas and they break it into kitchen and dining the living room bed and bath utility i mean you could have a website just on garage stuff i've seen websites like this things you should have in your garage the five things every man should have in their garage like these type of websites exist because people are interested in this stuff now awesome subcategories to consider is like home maintenance and repair tips uh sustainable and green living so that can be like interior stuff home decor and styling outdoor and garden projects i mean the list goes on now gaming is a great niche to consider right have you seen ign's website they do game reviews a lot of game reviews and like 10 things we learned from this developer or that developer the reason reviews are cool is because new games come out all the time and if you can be the person that gives the best reviews right you can make a lot of money because you'll direct people to purchase the game through affiliate links now i really believe the money with gaming with this niche is in the sub categories think of retro and classic gaming that's a highly highly lucrative one right now have you seen the trend that's trending use google trends figure out the trends people gaming and hardware right esports competitive gaming it's always going to be relevant more and more the younger generations love this stuff they'll continue to love this stuff now the next niche is travel i love this niche so much i love it this is probably one of my favorites because there's so many things to talk about and it's all semantically related through logic in other words if you're going to talk about germany travel to germany well there's towns in germany and they have proximity to each other depending upon where they are on the map therefore you can build your website out in a very logical manner and you can become an affiliate with a lot of different things think about TripAdvisor; they sell these humongous packages to people who travel around the world well you can get a cut of that right and yet again the sub niches right there's so many that i like destination guides travel tips and hacks budget travel solo travel adventures right kind of like expat stuff travel photography luxury and wellness travel the list goes on you could be the website just on luxury travel and give people an idea of what a 10,000 trip to say bali looks like and if you sell that trust me you're gonna make some money now beauty and fashion is such an incredibly lucrative niche why is it so lucrative it's because the margins on say clothes and makeup and all these products is so big the margins are huge which gives you an opportunity right if you get into this niche and you start to sell your own thing you can make a lot of money now a good website to look at is refinery29.com right it's like a lifestyle fashion platform look at this website has a good framework to give us an idea of what we should be doing and sub niches within this think of fashion trends styling tips beauty product reviews makeup tutorials skincare hair care 
sustainable and ethical fashion. The, the, the list can go on forever yet again in this. People want to know about specific trends. New trends come up, giving you yet again an opportunity to jump on it. If you can be the first person talking about a thing, you're going to have an advantage. Now, the lifestyle and self-improvement niche is super, super lucrative as well. Think of lifehacker.com. Have you seen this website? You can talk about a lot of different things, and it's cool. Once you get an audience, once you get people following you, they start to come to your website expecting new things. It's kind of like for SEO, what I like is searchenginejournal.com. I go there. I just type in the URL. This niche right here, uh, lifestyle and self-improvement, can be that type of website where people go to every day to check up on it. And really good sub-niches are productivity hacks, time management strategies, organization, decluttering, personal development. All of these things can make a lot of money. And you can sell a lot of services like consultation and masterclasses, books, a lot of opportunity here for people who have know-how, which leads me into one of the most profitable niches is health and fitness. And realize this is why I am YL. We should have talked about this, right? A lot of these niches are YMYL, which stands for your money, your life. So Google looks at these with like a stricter view, right? You have to be very on point on how you do your SEO. But the health and wellness niche is incredible. Have you seen this website, nerdfitness.com? This is a good one to look at, to emulate. I really love this stuff because you can tell like this is not a bland vanilla website. This is people working together like a real website by a real person. People like this stuff. If you want to lose weight, right? You're going to be attracted to real people with real problems like you. I get that. And that's why these type of things, you can build a personality around it. People are going to be attracted to someone who is real, but realize a very difficult, but very, very lucrative niche to be in. Excellent sub niches are fitness and exercise, nutrition and diet, mental health, women's health, men's health, right? Healthy age. And you could have a website on healthy age and that caters to people say 65 and above. So niche down, you have to niche down in this thing like keto, Keto is its own thing. You could have a whole website on keto. Now, the food and cooking niche is a little bit different. It's a little bit different of a beast, right? Because you need a lot of traffic here to make considerable amount of money. But the cool thing is, the cool thing is you can niche down into a very particular thing. Say, you want to be the website that talks about how to cook steak the best. You could be the steak website. You could be the chicken website. But you have to realize certain niches draw on certain types of people. And then you have to build out what do these people want as well. So don't pigeonhole yourself with your URL, which is your you know www.whatever.com for just steak. Let's use that as an example. Make it more general because once you show you know traction, you have traffic for those steak recipes, how to cook them, the best cuts, then you can broaden your reach with different products. Good website to look at is all recipes. I mean, this is a great format, right? Dinners, meals, ingredients. You can see all these different subheadings. It looks really, really nice. People, if you're gonna do this niche, make sure you have beautiful photos because this is what draws our stomachs in. Now, sub niches to consider include quick and easy recipes, international cuisine, bacon and dessert recipes. I like that one. Cooking techniques and tips, food, photography, culinary travel and cultural dishes. That one can link back to the travel blog, right? You can combine things. And that goes to the point. Do not pigeonhole yourself with your URL. Now, parenting can be an awesome niche, too. And I know the demographics of this channel of people who watch this YouTube channel, right, is, is on average, if you saw the graph, is 35 years old. And maybe this is a good niche to consider for, you know, people in this. I have young kids, maybe you do too. And there's a lot to talk about here. And people, as you know, are hyper-concerned, hyper-focused on doing the best things for their kids. Therefore, people are willing to spend a lot of money. A good website to emulate is Baby Center. Dot com. It has a lot of things people are considering when they're pregnant, right? A lot of different topics. This is a huge authority in this space. Good sub niches include pregnancy tips and advice, child development milestones, parenting challenges, family health and safety. Oftentimes people build communities around this space. People like to talk about their kids. They like to feel camaraderie. So forums is a big pull for the parenting niche. Now, once you pick your niche, right, and you're ready to rock, you have to drive traffic to it. That's the contingency on all of these. And I want you to check out this video next. You might laugh at this video, right? The quality is really poor, but it's really valuable. It's one of my oldest videos. I keep the videos up there. It's like, it's like four months behind this video and we've improved our technology over here by now. So you're going to see a different kind of side of me and how I used to do these videos, but it's very in-depth SEO stuff, which is cool. It's super valuable. It's going to teach 
teach you how to build out content so you can actually rank in these highly competitive niches. So I appreciate you and I'll catch you on the next video.